back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about evaluating functions. Okay, so for example, um, we have here evaluate the following functions. So for number one, we have f of x equals 4x plus 5 when x is equal to 3. So what you're going to do is just to substitute the value of 3 to x. Okay, for example, so f of 3, okay, f of, f of x will become f of 3 equals 4x plus 5. Just copy the given and then next, 4, then substitute the value 3 to x, so it will become 4 times 3 plus 5, okay, so next, Multiply 4 and 3, so 4 times 3 is 12, plus 5, so 12 plus 5 is 17. So our answer in number 1 is 17. Okay, for number 2, we have the function of x equals 9 minus x squared when x is equal to negative 2. Again, just substitute negative 2 to x. So f of x f of negative 2 because our x is negative 2 so f of negative 2 equals 9 minus x squared so just copy the given next 9 minus so what is the value of our x so our x is negative 2 so just substitute negative 2 to x next bring down 9 minus so Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now, let's, um, let's subtract. So, 9 minus 4 is 5. So, the answer in number 2 is 5. Okay, for number 3, we have the function of x equals 3x over x plus 6 when x is equal to 2. So again, what you're going to do is just to substitute 2 to x. So again, f of, it will become f of 2 equals 3x over x plus 6. So just copy the given. Next, okay, so 3 times what is the value of x? So our value or the value of x is 2 over so we don't have coefficients here so we're going to just write 2 here plus 6 because the value of x is 2 okay so next 3 times 2 is 6 and then 2 plus 6 is 8 okay so now this is not the final answer because we can simplify our answer 6 over 8 so it will become 3 over 4 so, our final answer in number 3 is 3 over 4. Alright, so for number 4, we have the function of x equals 4 over x squared minus 5 when x is equal to 3. So, again, what you're going to do is just to substitute the value of 3 to x. So, it will become the function of 3 equals 4. So, just copy squared minus 5 okay next 4 over so the value of x is 3 so it will become 3 squared okay minus 5 next evaluate so 4 over 3 times 3 is 9 minus 5 so next is 4 over 9 minus 5 is 4. So this is not the final answer because we can simplify our answer 4 over 4. Or 4 over 4 is equal to 1. So our final answer in number 4 is 1. For number 5, so we have here the function of x equals 2x squared plus 3 over 5. So when x is equal to 3. So again, let's just substitute 3 to x so it will become the function of 3 equals 2x squared plus 3 over 5 okay so next 
equals 2 times, so the value of our x is 3 squared plus 3 equals or over 5. Next, three, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, so 2 times 9 plus 3 over 5. Okay, next, uh -huh. so 2 times 9 is 18 plus 3 over 5. Okay, next, 18 plus 3 is equal to 21 over 5. So, since we cannot simplify 21 over 5, so our final answer is 21 over 5. Next, in number 6, so we have here f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 4. Again, what we're going to do is just to substitute negative 1 to x. So, it will become function of negative 1 equals x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now, substitute the value negative 1 to our x. So, it will become negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 4. Okay? So, next, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 1 times 2 or negative 2 is positive 2 plus 4. Now, 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 4 is 7. So, our final answer in number 6 is 7. Alright, students, so if you have more questions, just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And that's how we end our lesson for today. Bye-bye!